Hey guys, Anthony here with Triple XRC Garage, and I am ready to do part two of Undercover Drag Wings. I'm sorry, Undercover RC Drag Wings. And uh, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this right here. See the decal? See the wing? See the splitter? This is one that I had did before. I did a video on it before, but I really didn't do an install video, so I'm doing a more in-depth video. So if, you, uh, if you're watching this, there's a part one before this video. And the part one basically is gonna have where I'm installing this one. Now this one's not been painted yet. It's just been installed, and it's just sitting on the car right now. Because we're gonna be today working on part two, which will be installing the back wing but before we do the back wing we're going to have to do some cutting back here so the best thing to do if you've already got paint on the car and you need to mark what you're going to do let me turn the camera down over here so you can see what i'm talking about okay you're going to need some black masking tape you're going to need of course your body scissors and you're going to need a marker <clears throat> so, I have an idea of what's going on already, um, but let me show you. So, I had bought more than one kit and I only got one of these. So, I made copies of this from my printer. Uh, so, I would have extra copies of this. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out and I'm going to show you here how it goes on. Be right back. Alright guys, so, recap, need to tape marker or pen, body scissors, regular scissors, and that's it. So stand by. Okay, so this was the one that came with the kit, and then this is the one that I just got off the printer because I had three sets of these, and I did another copy of this original to do the, the car behind me. So we're doing this one. There's going to be one more kit in the in the bag so what I want to make sure is make sure that this is the right size and everything else just to make sure yep it's good so I'm gonna cut this one up I'm gonna fold this one back up put it back in the kit so I'm gonna take the scissors and we're going to trim now, I could cheat and just use the piece I cut off the other one as a template, but then that wouldn't help you guys who don't have that piece. So this is going to be what you're going to want to do. So, it tells you right here, scallop ends and it points here. So, what you're going to do is we're going to place this like this in here. We're not going to worry about this trim part here because we're cutting back here. So before we cut, we need to tape it off. So right now, we can get this a little more level. So, what we're going to do now is mark it. This is the hardest part of the whole deal, is just making sure you get your cut right. And, in fact, we need to move this down just a little bit more, about right there. Okay. 
it, you can take your marker or a pen. I'm going to go ahead and just use a marker. I'm probably going to have to go back over this. Just to get a rough idea. And we're going to remove this now. And I'm just going to stick it over here on the camera leg for now. Just to make sure we've got it just about right. Actually, it looks like it's a tad bit off over here. And then this line is going to carry over the side and down down that way and then of course we have to cut this out and put this in place to show us where we're going to cut here so let me fill up some tape here real quick so what's up sir hmm? so what's up wish it wasn't raining that have been out playing RCs. Alright. One more piece here just to say I have a piece there. This is just for marking purposes. So we got this side all taped off. Hot enough for you? I said hi to your viewers. I said hot enough for you? Yeah, you know, but I said hi to your viewers. Uh huh. And yeah, he's the one on a few videos back that was kicking my butt at the, when we were racing. He was driving the yellow octane. I was not kicking your butt. Oh, yeah. You were doing great, and I was flipping upside down. Now when we race, you kick my butt. It's okay, we'll get there. Alright, time to finish trimming. You get this like shower or this crazy pit in your stomach knowing that you gotta cut this body. But it's okay, and you'll figure it out. So here you can see the ripples roughly here. So this is gonna go right on this line right here. This is the how-to video. So, that's what's going to happen. So we're really not, we're cutting here, not here. Just so you know, we're cutting down here. So what we're going to do now, is take the marker, and mark off this area. Then we're going to take this back off, and then we're going to bring this line here to here. So this is going to get cut. This is going to be gone. So this is all going to be gone here and here, basically. And we've got to do the same thing with the other side. I think they know you're here. So, I'll take <laughs> All right, so F I N O X space or space R C F I N O X and then you put a space Okay, so now we did this side here with the scallops. Now you're just going to turn this over to the back and pretty much do the same thing again here. But this time the back is going to be looking at you. And you need just to make it fit this line. And of course I didn't make it fit that line. Again, get the marker here, 
and of course here. Now just so you know, most of this is going to get covered up with the wing. But so what we're going to have to do now is chop it. So we're going to cut it here. And it's just easier to just keep going. And then we're going to go up this line. You want to cut it? No. for you. <laughs> if I mess it up, my butt would be kicked. No, it wouldn't. Alright. Let's try to get this. Are you putting a new ring on? We'll see. So, I'm get this body scissors in here. Cut along this line. You want to make sure this line's straight, because this line will be visible at the top of your wing. Man, this is the where's that spot where might have to go back and get a little retrim in there because this is being a little stiff right now. I think I'm just gonna go back to the other side now. Cut it from that angle. So you can quit waving. making yourself look special. Okay, so we're cutting it. Cutting it. And cutting it. I thought you wanted to cut this for me. Why are you leaving me? I thought you were cutting. Why? tape off now. Thought you were leaving me for a minute. Okay, take it off. Didn't run before. The cool part about this is, is, say for instance you damaged your body and you built a new body, you could pretty much trade this as long as the, the wings didn't get myself. You could probably just transfer this to another body if you really needed to, um, or new body, new wing. Okay. So now that this is cut and there's no turning back, I'm getting attacked by stuff under the table. Can you put that back in that for me, please? Alright, so that's for another car, another time. There's the wing, two wings, back in this bag right here. And then we just gotta make sure we got the right end pieces now. So there's gonna be a left and a right. So what we're gonna want to do, and you can't go by the what plastic is where because I learned that it didn't work out that way before. 
so this side here, you put this and this back in here. Put that back in there. Alright, so we just gotta figure out which one is which one here. So this is going to go here. Once we you know, start top shaking the table. So this is going to be this side, and this one is going to be this side. I'm not sure. Yes. It's going to fit. Those are opposites, so these two can go back in the bag. It's much easier if you order one set, then you don't have to worry about that. So now, what we got to know is, or do is, put it together. This is going to be sides that are painted. This is going to be the side that's painted. This eventually is going to go under here like this. So once this is attached, so we got to put this one together. And then we'll attach it to the car, make sure everything's done, and then we'll take it all back off, take it back apart. Unfortunately, we won't be able to paint today because it's raining, but um, that's just what it's going to have to be for now. So, this is the top, this is the bottom. So, what you can do is keep from getting all mixed up, so you can write top. Well, we know it's the top. This side here is going to be your right side. So we'll write R on this side. And that's going to be your left. And of course, this will be the left side. So we're going to do an L. Weird L, but an L. Okay. So eventually, what's going to happen is this is where you're going to paint. You're going to peel and paint. Paint, paint and paint. So eventually what's going to happen, once we put this together, we're going to make the holes in the body for it to fit, and then we're going to take it all back off, take it all back apart, we're going to peel the P areas, and then we're going to take some rubbing alcohol, and a nice clean rag, clean them thoroughly, put them inside of a box, just like I have them sitting right now, in a box, and then you're going to do a light coat of paint, let it dry for about 15 minutes, come back and do another light coat, another 15 minutes, and keep doing it until you get a good covering on it. Once it's dry thoroughly, then you can put it together. Before you put it together, you want to peel this coating off. And it's going to be crystal clear. And if you want to know what that looks like, here are some trim pieces from the front parts. So when we go to uh, peel the covering off so you're going to peel this part off like that for the paint and then once it's painted you're going to peel this is scraps this side now some guys don't paint some guys just want it to be crystal clear like this you can barely even see it in my hand with a flurry flick so it's pretty clear so if you don't want to paint and you just want to leave it clear, you can do that. I'm going to do black because it matches the black wing. And then I'm going to do the front too to match it all because black and black. So anyway, it's, like it's basically, uh, it's, it's like a glass. It's just clear. So we're going to put this back over here out of the way. And we're going to get our screws out. Now I've already taken them out of the containers or the bags that come in. They come with full decal. And just decal it, this bag so I don't ruin it. Um, and 
So your screws are in here. Now, I had a drill bit in here because one time I was drilling the stuff out, but I found out it's a lot easier just to use a body reamer. And if you don't have one and you need to drill, you can drill, but the body reamer does work well. This one's a little too beefy. For some reason, it goes wide too quick. This one is small and just perfect for this, so that's why I'm using it. So, and of course you're going to have your Teflon screws, uh, nuts with your screws. And so anyway, let's get to put this thing together. So what we're going to do is you're going to match up this and this together. So... You're going to take your 1.5 millimeter. And you're going to put it together. You want to put it together? It's not hard. You're going to put it together like this. Can you see? And you're going to take your Teflon nut. And you're going to tighten it up a little bit. Now once you do finalize and put this together after you paint it, you can um, use some like shoe goo or um, uh, you know, some kind of a glue like that to keep them from coming apart. And I'm going to do the other side so that way you'll have an idea. The cool part about this is that's all you got to do to put it together for the most part. So now we got to do that side. So how are you going to do it? Come on over here. Come on over here, little guy. So you're going to match this and this up together like this. This is okay. scary. It's not scary at all. Go ahead, grab a screw. Just don't drop it on the ground out here, please. You know where you're putting it at? Okay. See these two holes right here? Here, I'll mark them for you. So you're going to do this one and this one, and then you're going to put the screws in here. Okay? And you're going to put it together like this. And there's your tool. Like that? Yep. It's a little tough. Can I show you a little secret? Can I show you a little secret? What I do is I take the tool and I put it like this on the tool and then I put my finger on it and then I put it in like that. I know it's a little tougher. Here, I'll hold this for you. Tidy left to loosey. You see something? I think we're at the hole. Ah, there you go. There you go. Now you gotta get one of these little walk these little things to put How on it. How am I gonna put that in? We're gonna take and turn it over. Keep pressure on this. Put this like this. Put your thumb and just turn it. Ta-da! Okay, now do the last one. You know, don't tighten it up until you get it all together. Does it matter which, what color it is? Not at this point. We're taking it all back apart anyway. Why? This is just for install purposes. And I'm hoping I have enough screws to do this. We were a little short, and I got some more coming. Um... Usually his case, his kits are going to have everything you need. Um, this was a fluke. I'm putting this together from a, from a different situation. I didn't order this from him. Another buddy of mine did. And so it's all good. Anyway. Can I do it? Yep. It's all done. So now, now that we've got the wing together, the wing is going to go like this. Look at this. See this part right here? It's like a little notch right here right there and here 
that's going to go underneath. Whoa, that's huge. And it's going to go just like this. You should keep a close crystal. So what you can do here, if you want, is get some tape. So this is just to make the holes. It's not finished yet because we're going to have to paint it. So that's is pretty much. Hmm? Is that part one? That's part one, yes. So that's how it looks. So now what we're going to have to do is is tape the rest away here, really good. Flip it over because the holes that we need to make are, are underneath here. So we're going to finish putting some more tape on this. And then we're going to make sure that's perfect. And then so the holes you're going to be putting in this is going to be one here, here, and here. But first, you need to do hit this stuff right here. First, you're going to need to do is do the holes here. So you got one, two, and three. So what I do with this, and I do this to keep from putting a hole through my finger, is I'll take my roll of tape, put it there, put my finger underneath it, so that way I know I'm not poking my finger. And then I'm just going to twirl it. And then come out. See, I put a hole in there. And just twirling it. And flip it over. And we're going to twirl it again. And it doesn't matter what color screw we put in here because it's coming back apart. One little plastic little wa nut washer looking things here. And that's going to hold it in place. And we're going to flip it back over again. And you might poke your finger with this. No, put the tape on there. Um, I wanted to try something actually different from using this tape because I'm putting a hole in the tape every time. But. This is actually very tedious. When you start seeing that you're plucking up material off the wing, you need to don't push so hard to back off because you don't want to make the holes bigger. And you flip it back over. How do you know what it is? And then you're going to actually I can peel the tape back a little bit here. If you can see this. Light on here, put some light on it. You can see this hole here, and then we just got to clean it up, clean it off, and then put another screw and washer. You want to do the screws and washer? Mm -hmm. Here, you do the screws. I'll do the holes because I don't want to take a mis make a mistake. Or Ow. Putting the holes is actually more tedious than cutting. What do you need? That cutting was just a straight line, but the poking the holes, you could actually accidentally make a bigger hole than you really want to. Wow. 
washer, I mean the nut and screw a nut in there. Oh, it's more we're just supposed to don't get it. Now I have seen some guys paint just the sides black and leave the center clear. I think that was on a Nova or something. I want you to do that to mine. But in your fingers. Just, just enough screws to get by this whole thing. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so now that we got that done. Black screws will look better right here because. Well, so normally the kit comes with more black screws and stuff, and I ended up using all the black screws on the other car and not realizing that it was supposed to be part for whatever, but it didn't matter. I already did it. Um, Is that the same bumper? all the same. I mean wing. Yes. Okay, so now we gotta do the holes on the side. So what I always do is do this front part. Actually no, I do right here first. So I'm just gonna hold it down snug with my finger and I am gonna have to use my finger this time. And of course gotta do the other side in a minute. If you want to go in, you can go in. Go get your shower. If you want to do that. It's up to you. I'm not telling you you got to leave. Alright, so now we got to do the back section here. This is what happens when you got a table full of stuff. So, basically we just got to Put a hole here and two holes here and mount this in here too. See you later there, Mr. Phoenix. Alright. There'll be a link in the description box if you do want to check out his channel. to save what I did because technically there would have been no returning if I'd have screwed up the top. I do this hole here, mount it, I'm going to trim away a little bit of that black stuff. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this is my preference of doing it that way. I'm not sure if it's uh, something you're supposed to do or not supposed to do, but it's something I did. And I thought it looked better once I did it.
<coughs> okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim here and you can see this. That disappears and make sure we got the same thing going on over here. A little slight trim here. And there you guys got it. So, next step, like I said, is to dismantle this whole thing, peel this coating this coating and this coating off. Paint, paint, paint. Once it's dry, reassemble, put it back on the car, and you're done. So, this is pretty much it, guys. Right now, installed. Um, and then we'll just get the, uh, get it taken apart later and I'm leaving it like this because this way I don't lose my screws all my screws are gone so this way I won't lose my screws and um, we will disassemble it put all the screws back in the container and then repaint it or paint it and then install it and I'll have all the screws and stuff I need for it. part one was a splitter part two is this part three will be taking it apart painting it putting it back together so Unfortunately, this may take a day or two before I can do that because of the weather. But once it gets hot and we get a good hot day, and I'm, of course, not overwhelmed with my regular day job, I can get this done. So stand by for that if you want. If not, you got common sense and know what to do. Peel, peel. So you want to peel the inside because this side here, it hits or hits here or hits here. And you worry about the paint scraping off. Now, here, you're going to paint underneath. It's okay because if you, if, if you happen to drag or scrape this and it scratches the paint, let me show you a little secret real quick. The, and that's the cool thing about doing it in black. So this one got scratched too. And I went back and I touched it up with some paint. And you really can't see it other than you can see the poly nuts have a little bit of paint over spray on them. What I did, there were some scratches here and I painted them and it actually came out good. So, anyway, that's just a little heads up. You don't sit there and get all worried about looking like junk. So, so there you have it guys. Your rear wing installed, splitter installed. So, like I said, part three, coming soon will be painting so if you want and you're interested in these wings you can go on Facebook and look up undercover drag wings I think it might say RC drag wings actually no I think it's undercover drag wings so I'll put a link in the description down below for you and that way you can go in there he has wings for the Fox Body, the 69 Nova, the 66 Nova, the Octane. I mean, pretty much, I think he's got them for every body. There is. And if he doesn't, I'm sure it's coming. But I'm almost sure he does. So go check him out on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, have fun with our seats.